himself in the neighborhood of asteroids 325, 326, 327, 328, 329, 330. Well, well, oh, it is a subject. Approach. Sire, over what do you rule? Over everything. And the stars obey you? They certainly do. I do not permit insubordination. I would very much like to see a sunset. It would remind me of my rose. Could you order the sun to set? Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> you shall have your sunset. I shall command it. But I shall wait till conditions are favorable. When will that be? Uh, um, that will be about, about, uh, that will be, oh, uh, this evening, about 20 minutes to eight. <clears throat> um, um. Oh. Good morning. You're wearing a funny kind of hat. What is it? <laughs> it is a hat for salutes, actually, to, to raise when people acclaim me. <laughs> Clap your hands, yeah. Oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, see. <sighs> Do you uh, really admire me very much? <laughs> am, I, am I not the handsomest, the best dressed, the richest? <laughs> I'm the most intelligent man on this planet. But you're the only man on this planet. <laughs> Do me this kindness and. Admire me just the same, <laughs> please. I own the stars. I administer them. I count them, then I recount them. But what good does that do you? Well, it does me the good of making me rich. How's that? And what good does it do you to be rich? It makes it possible for me to buy more stars. Plus anything else you would think of. Grown-ups are certainly very, very odd. 